Hello everyone, welcome back again to this session on natural language processing with JavaScript. So in this session, we learn about phonetics, right? So phonetics are usually where that sound the same, but they have different meanings. And let's see how to work with it in this package. So as usual, just go with bar natural. Can be any name, right? Then we need a package called natural. That is what what we are working with. Okay. Then the next thing is we need to be able to create our start that we'll be using to work with which is going to be bar then we can call it as any name too so this one these are these are usually meta points right so you can call it as any name to phonetics or we can just give it any name to phonet phonetics then we're going to go with nlp or we're going to go with natural because that's the name of the of the start that you are crying from dot meta form right so that is how to work so you can name this one as meta form which is still going to work in it then the next thing is that let's give some variables, some variables so over a, and then it's going to be let's say a word like c, another word like var b, it's going to be like another word like c, right? So this is a words, this is one way you can use. Let's create another one, which is going to be for another one, which let's call it as meet, and then Meet and then meet, right? So all of them sound the same. So these are the ways we'll be working in this example. And let's try how to check and see whether they are actually phonetics or they sound the same, but they have different meaning. So to do that, just going to go with if our phonetics that we have here, right? If our phonetics is coming from here, that's what we are working with. Dot compare this another property. Then I'm comparing A and then B, which is our variables above. So I have something like this, right? Then I can just move straight away and then say console dot log whatever thing I want to do. So a test like they or they sound alike. So with this that's all. If, if I run this particular script here, so it's going to tell us whether they sound alike. Perfect. So they sound like so C and then C. Like let's change this one to C, right? And see whether it's going to give us something else. We do not define it, but let's try and see if I run it. It not give us any result because we do not define it. So that is it. So the the basic idea of of phonetics to try and see where which sounds alike but have different meaning. In case you want to actually check for the algorithm behind it, the raw algorithm, then you can just go with the same thing like C. Wow. Let's let me. Comment this one out and let's check that one. It's going to be bar. Then you can just create whatever to use phonetics. Uh, let's call it phonetics formula, right? Then we're just going to go with our phonetics that we have from above dot process. So with the process, be able to process whatever word that is. So the word we're searching for was C. So if I check for this C, I'm going to see the word that it is looking for. By which is to use to compare and see whether it is that. So let's in the next console dot log log our phonetics formula. Okay, so now let's run it and see. If I run it, it's going to tell us the way it is going to be X, right? So S, right? C, that is what you see in there. So if I change this one to something like this, let's try this example. Instead of C, let's try the example with the meat. Let's see the result it's going to give to us. So this and this one goes off. Right? Let's go with it. Save. So now let's try it and see. So it's going to tell us that the sound alike. Yes, the sound alike. And the word is looking for is meat empty. So this is a golden space now. So that is one of the aspects you can also do with this particular packet. It is very, very interesting, very simple to use. So that is the concept about phonetics in this particular session we thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution can just put inside the comment section so that everyone can benefit and please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed